Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to a spirit message and tip of what comes up a lot in the comments and I just wanted to address it all in one video. Um, where I buy my crystals and how I use my crystals. So I'm going to put it all in the description box. I just pulled out little examples that I can show. Um, so yeah, so as I go through everything, I'm going to definitely show you. But first, let's start off where I get my crystals. So people were asking me, you know, do you buy it in person? Do you buy it online? Do you feel that it's good to buy them online you know what okay let me just give you the three ways that I buy my crystals for the most part one of course crystal shops um, I love going into a crystal shop and actually just being attracted and picking out your crystals you know um, yeah so where uh, examples of where I've gotten in a fabulous crystal shop I've gotten like angel aura um, and I definitely treated myself to this crystal that you see in all my readings actually this was an angel aura that I treated myself in a crystal shop um, so you could find really beautiful crystals and the great thing about being in person is that you could feel guided to a crystal like I always say like the crystal almost finds you um, so and what's interesting too is even if you don't know what the crystal meaning is if you're guided to a crystal and then later you look up the meanings it is so on point it's just really amazing so I, I love 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 crystal shops but now the pro of it is yes you can feel attracted to crystals and pick out your crystal but the con is that there's not that much of the quantity like choices you know shops are only so big they only have so many right so there are two other places that I um, have shopped online okay and especially during this time when we were in lockdown or it's not feasible to go to your crystal shops one the second place that I really go to and believe it or not is eBay and believe it or not it's great especially for the big ones because and also it's worldwide so the quantity is so much um, because it's worldwide and I have to say the prices were even better than in the crystal shops the crystal shops tend to go higher because of the rent and so on ebay for example what i've gotten on ebay was this and the heavier the bigger crystals this is a clear quartz crystal this is so huge and humongous and i got a really great price on this crystal and you can't get the weight the weight of it is huge um, I'm going to get into the feng shui of crystals, how I use them, because this I place right by the doorway of my house. So people are cleansed as they come in and out. Okay, another huge one I got from eBay was this fluorite. It is so heavy as well. This I also keep uh, for the health, um, for good health and everything else. Fluorite was another one I got on eBay. Another eBay purchase was this rose quartz. And this is heavy also, and I put this over there too for self-love and everything else but those three those were examples of what I got from eBay so when you talk about quality and the largeness and a better price I got it from eBay believe it or not the other place that I get it online is energy muse now energy muse I find had the best like different they have jewelry they have tumble stones they have large stones they have jewelry what you see all the time in the readings back here that I always have are these balancers selenite balancers I keep there for a reason another thing I treated myself from energy muse which I'll put the direct website down below the direct their direct website um similar to the angel aura this is going to be always showing angel aura amethyst i bought two of those they were on sale sometimes i would wait for the sales they have really good sales energy muse they also came out with that um oracle deck the crystal oracle deck but energy muse yeah i've bought I even bought like crystal jewelry from there but those i definitely got the balancers and i got these were the latest ones i just got it this week actually because of their sale so i got that and okay so now those are the three places. So the crystal shops, definitely in person. Love that you can pick out your crystals, absolutely, and feel the crystals that you're attracted to, absolutely. But um, eBay for the for the deals and worldwide quantities um, that you could find. And Energy Muse, I just found they're, they're, you know, some of the things are a little pricier, but it was still a good deal and quality crystals I found. And there's so much to choose from because they have those, like I said, tumble stones. That's another thing I want to get into. So let's talk about how I use my crystals. So crystals, of course, come in all different kinds. So I pulled examples, right? So 
this you would say is like decorative and also using for the energy space with intention. And I talk about that, the feng shui of it all. You know, how I use my crystals, to be honest with you, the feng shui of it all, I put it all through my house. I place it, this is key, I place it in specific areas with intention. Just like I said before, this is right by the doorway. It's so heavy. You must be clean and clear as you enter my apartment, you know, my place. Um, what I have in the living room or, well, I don't have this. This I have somewhere else, but amethyst in the living space for harmonious uh, relationships and all of that. Um, this is rose quartz. So some of these you can have decorative, like you can have a candle, selenite is amazing. I have selenite. I'm going to show you selenite wands, selenite candlesticks. You can place this anywhere. Here's another amethyst candle holder. So what I'm saying is you can buy crystals that are like, say, a crystal angel, right? You can have a tumble stone that you hold on to. You can have a wand where you wave this across your body. You can have, so crystals come in towers, you know, so different shapes, different ways for different purposes. And I want to say with intention. So for example, like I will put clear quartz and say fluorite or amethyst in air, living areas. You know, I would put my, oh, the rose quartz and like softer ones are like in the bedroom, right? Selenite, I want to say is my favorite, favorite crystal. One of my favorite crystals of all time. And it's my favorite clearer. So when you want clear energy, clear, clear, everything you want, you want clear. Selenite will clear you, others, and your other crystals. So you can even put like, you have those tables, you can rest your crystals on. It actually clears your thing, your crystals. And then also I showed a video where you can wave this around, up around your body from head to toe and clear out the energy. And I even did a video like on the go clearing where I did this. Um, I think it's in the tips playlist actually, where you can cleanse and clear as you go. But you take this up after a hard day and you wave this around your body. Um, that's another thing. So the number one thing, how I use my crystals is the feng shui of it all, placing crystals with an intention and everything has an intention. Like for my readings, I always have angel aura because I want to connect higher. I have this because I have joy when I do the readings. The butterflies is because free spirit. That's my logo. Also that logo is even has meaning because that was, uh, Oh, I don't want to get too personal, but that's uh, something that was left to me. That that logo is actually a stained glass, a uh, piece of a stained glass of somebody who had passed away. So I feel supported by them when I do this channel. These are the balancers. So I feel balanced and also connected, like how you're connected. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And even this, the new, this was a geode that someone bought me. I picked a heart stone. We cracked it open. And that's the make your own geode. That was from a crystal shop that joins us like your heart cracked open. Anyway, everything is with intention, right? So I place all these with intention. So that's the number one thing, how I use my crystals with intention. I place it in specific areas. For example, in your workspace, you want like abundance feeling, get pyrite, right? You want to connect with angels. Um, you know, these things are angel aura. You want more self-love, it's rose quartz. This is so soothing and angelic, also celestite. But um, this cleansing clear with the selenite is my, again, my favorite clearer anywhere, use on everything. It can clear you and others and other crystals. So number two, I use the crystals intentionally in multiple ways. So you can just place it anywhere for visual support. Like first of all, when I see it, it's just so pretty and it uplifts your spirit. Visually, it's beautiful in every area. That's number one. But then also you can touch it, hold it, place it anywhere on your body, roll it or wave it across your body. So like selenite, you can wave around your body. Um, other things you can hold, like this would be very soothing to hold. You have things that you can roll like these. This I actually got in TJ Maxx. So it's not just crystal stores anymore. This is rose quartz and this is jade, I believe. And you roll these, you see this, you roll this on your face. I see when I have migraines, like I get headaches a lot, or you have pressure in your face from sinuses or head, you roll this. Also with the intention, this is like self-love, this is like worth, you know, it's just rolling on with intention. Um, but yeah, you can use crystals in so many different ways. What I'm saying is visually for the beauty of it. And then you either, as a touchstone, you can put a crystal intentionally on your body. 
Um, you can roll it on your body. You can wave it across your body. Um, so there, you know, you can get crystals for so many different ways and uses. And number three is feel free to be guided to crystals and the right ones. Just like I said in the beginning, sometimes the crystal finds you, meaning you're just attracted to it. And then later look up the meaning and I swear it's perfect. It's, it's, that's how some of these came to being. This angel aura found me, you know, and then I looked it up and I was like, oh my gosh, how fitting for when I do readings. Like, I'm definitely going to add that in my, you know, when I do readings from now on. Um, so number five, oh, number four, I'm going in order. I have a little cheat sheet because, you know, I go off on tangent. I get very excited with crystals. Crystals to me is like nature's jewelry. I love crystals more than jewelry okay i even say that to my crystal guys in the shop i'm like yeah i tell everyone don't buy me crystal don't buy me jewelry buy me crystals okay number four crystals like i uh, this is so fitting that i'm go that i'm talking about that because and i'm talking so fast and excited because number four is crystals can give you the energy the support the clearing the unblocking and just the visual beauty yeah like there's something with crystals they change the energy of the space they do and you, your energy has changed too. So whether you're holding it, you're looking at it, you're waving it, you're visualizing, it uplifts your energy for the most part. It clears your energy. It definitely gives you energy also. And I think maybe that's why I'm so energized. I'm surrounded by all these. So where, where do you want to feel more energized? Where do you want to bring that to a space, your living area, your workspace, place the crystal with intention. And you're going to feel that it literally changes the energy of the space and that's number five it changes the energy of the space try placing in areas of your work your bedroom your living areas and see and feel the energy uplifted and changed i feel just like i'm saying my energy changes too it changes the energy too i swear i put it in my workspace a lot of us are still working from home that kind of hybrid thing i put all these crystals i'm like I'm fully more charged. I feel more charged to get things done. A lot of self-motivated when you're working from home. So that like self-motivation and energy up and staying positive and greeting the day like that, you know, char the crystals can really help. And I find, you know, I'm kind of, I don't know why I'm whispering this, but I almost feel it's like my secret weapon with people in my home. That I feel like these crystals are changing their energy too. So I feel people are coming in with better energy. They're being, you know, it's like I'm doing, the crystals are doing their magic without them almost even knowing that they're being nicer, kinder, more loving. Um, yeah, like I said, I even put this bike in and out. You're coming, it's so heavy <laughs> that you're being cleansed when you walk in and when you walk out, you know, all that. I think it works on them. You know how many people have come to my home and they're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. And I mean, like, yeah, I'm a great person and everything else, but I think the crystals <laughs> work their magic. I think they are. I think they're very healing. I think it's healing them when they're here. Okay, so yes, I love crystals so much. Like I said, they're like jewelry to me. I actually look at it as nature's jewelry. Um, and you know, whatever you, wherever you find them, however you use them, this was just the way that I do. I get asked this a lot, like where I buy my crystals, how I use my crystals. And these have been all my ways I use them, where I get my crystals and everything else and how I use them quite intentionally. And besides being gorgeous, um, I use them very intentionally and I swear it makes a difference. And you know, anything that can do that, um, it's worth sharing. So I wanted to put it all in one video and answer all the questions and the comments that I get on the, on the, you know, crystals and even the crystals that you see sometimes in my videos that is there for a reason and whatever. And I'm not saying use these specific ones. I'm just showing you like examples and all the different ways. And they're all different price points because when you go smaller, you can get something of a crystal support. Like look at how precious this is. And this was not a lot of money to have that support. I keep this by me. And if you want a little pyrite, you don't have to go huge and humongous. And then sometimes you can treat yourself to larger ones or you purposeful, you know, where this is like also a candle. This is also a candle where you're just decorative, but and anywhere you put it and you'll feel guided as to where to put it. You do. You feel guided on where to put it. So no matter what, I mean, just enjoy your crystals. <laughs> I just really enjoy doing this video. I love these crystals so much. So, yep, this is how I use my crystals and where I buy my crystals. And take care. Bye-bye.